Welcome to the Brass Hand Woodwind Shop. A lot of people think that soldering is hard to do and they are intimidated by it. But if you understand a few things about soldering, it takes away the mystery from it and you will find that most soldering is very easy to do. I got an ice cube and two raviolis out of the freezer to help you understand how this works. Think of the ice cube as the solder and think of the raviolis as the two metal parts that you need to stick together. And the torch to warm up the solder are my hands. I have two frozen raviolis that are solid, just like the metal is solid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to warm up the ice. And once it gets warm, it goes on to the raviolis. And if you put those together, and then put these back in the freezer, what are these going to do? They're going to stick together. And that's the same way with solder. The only difference is with solder, it's like you're in the freezer all the time because you're always colder than 450 Fahrenheit or 270 degrees Celsius. I put the raviolis in the freezer so they got back down to the right temperature so they are now stuck together and that's how soldering works. And you can see how the water, or solder if you want to think of it that way, held those raviolis together when it got back down to below temperature. So once the solder cools off to room temperature, it's going to freeze. Solder is the same way. You heat it up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit or 270 degrees Celsius and it melts. And then as soon as it cools off again, it hardens. Solder flows by a process called capillary action. To show you how that works, I have a piece of glass and a flat surface. I'm going to put those together and put a little water on this and watch what the water does. See how the water flows in? So when you are soldering and you heat up the solder so that it melts, the solder flows in. When you're soldering and you melt the solder into a liquid, like this water, it will flow where the surfaces are really close together and it will work its way in if the metal is up to temperature and the solder stays a liquid. If you can understand that, you can understand how soldering works. And soldering is not that difficult. This video is just the basics of how soldering works. If you want to learn more about soldering, look in the description below for links to other videos on soldering. I hope this video has been helpful. Please subscribe for more band instrument repair videos.